For years, it's been difficult to get TACX or RADIUS servers added to GNS3 topologies. In the past, you may have used Cisco ACS software, or these days, Cisco ICE, to add RADIUS and TACX functionality to both live networks as well as your GNS3 topologies. The process, however, is not that easy. Using both ACS, which is now end of life, or Cisco ICE. There are open source solutions available, but once again, setting up a RADIUS server or TACX server in your GNS3 topologies can be both convoluted and complicated. That, however, changes today. It's now really easy, thanks to the hard work of Undrush, to add both a RADIUS as well as TACX server to your GNS3 topologies. Undrush has created a number of fantastic Docker appliances which are available in the GNS3 marketplace and simplify our lives as network engineers. He's now created a Docker a GNS3 appliance that allows you to easily add both a TACX and RADIUS server to your GNS3 topologies. In GNS3, browse all devices and look at available appliances and search for AAA. Now in my example, it's not displayed here because it's not available at the time of this recording, but it should be available as a available appliance when you watch this video. If it's not, however, go to the GNS3 website. So go to gns3.com, go to Marketplace, click on Appliances, and search for triple A. Select the triple A server appliance and click download to download the appliance to your local computer. In this example, I'm using GNS3 version 2.1.4 on a Mac. The process, however, is very similar. If you're using Windows, it's recommended that you use at least GNS3 version 2.1.4 or later for setting up this appliance. In my example, I'm going to go to File, Import Appliance, because it's not available as a appliance directly within GNS3. And I'm going to select the AAA appliance and click Open. The Add Appliance Wizard is displayed. We told that this appliance provides RADIUS and TACX services with pre-configured users and groups to make it easy to get started. The appliance will be available in the Guest category, Product name is AAA. It's using the Ubuntu operating system. And thanks to Undrush, we now have this appliance available. I'm going to click Next. This appliance needs to run on the GNS3 VM if you're using Windows or a Mac. So make sure that you have the GNS3 VM configured and integrated with the GNS3 GUI. Have a look at my other videos if you're not sure how to configure the GNS3 VM. I'm going to click Next. You may want to take a note of this name for future reference in case you need to upgrade the appliance. Console type used is Telnet. I'm going to click Next. I suggest you copy this information and save it somewhere. We're told that the RADIUS server has two users by default. We've got Bob and Alice. RADIUS user by default is GNS3 as well as a read-only user. All users have a password of GNS3. The software uses OpenRadius as an example. You can read up about how to configure and change the software by looking at the documentation online. I simply want to show you how quickly you can set up the appliance in GNS3. I'm going to click Finish. Appliance is now available. So under End Devices, notice as an available appliance, I have the AAA server. If it does show as available in your installation, you can simply drag it to the workspace and go through the installation. But in this example, I have already installed the appliance. So under Installed Appliances, I see AAA as well as various other appliances. So under Installed Appliances, I'm going to drag the AAA appliance to the workspace. And notice GNS3 does a pull from Docker. 
It's essentially downloading and installing uh, this appliance to my GNS3 installation. This is why Docker is so powerful. It makes the installation of new appliances really easy in GNS3. So that's now completed. I have my AAA server available in GNS3. So what I'm gonna do is add an ethernet switch to my topology, which I'm gonna run on the GNS3 VM. I'm also gonna add a NAT cloud. This is not required. I'm simply gonna do that to give me internet connectivity. And then what I'll do is add some Cisco routers to the topology. I'm not gonna to bother too much about making the topology look good. I simply wanna show you how to get the AAA server integrated with GNS3 appliances. So I'm gonna cable up the topology. I'll show interface labels and I'll start up the devices. You can make the topology look pretty once again. I'm not gonna to worry too much about doing that. Now to configure the IP address on this device, you can right click and go to edit config and edit the config here. But because a lot of people have had problems doing that, I'm gonna right click and go to console and I'll show you how to do it this way. I'm gonna use nano text editor to edit Etsy network interfaces. And what I'm gonna do is uncomment these lines and configure the server with an IP address like this. I'm using the subnet 192.168.122.0 because this is the subnet the NAT cloud uses by default. And that's the IP address of the NAT cloud. You could use other IP addresses if you wanted to, but you wouldn't be able to use that with the NAT cloud. So cat Etsy network interfaces, there's my configuration. I'll close this down and I'll turn off the Docker appliance and I'll start it up again. And what I'll do now is open up consoles to all of the devices. So here's my AAA server, IF config shows me the IP address of the server, ping 192.168.122.1. That's the NAT cloud, ping google.com. That works, so I have IP connectivity in this network between the NAT cloud and the AAA server. Next step is to configure the routers. So we're going to configure router one to use TACAX, and then I'll configure router two to use RADIUS.